Hey, what's up guys? I've been asked a question actually, and I'll show you who asked me this question recently about the new videos, the last few videos. If you go to my channel, kind of the last few videos, you'll see a new thumbnail look um, and uh, the format of the videos is basically one shot, no pauses, no editing. And I wanna show you guys how I do this using a tool called Ecamm. But before we do that, if you've seen some of the other videos, we always go to the Intro first. All right, so I got asked this question. I'm gonna share my screen right now. And uh, it's our good friend, Sammy Superstar. So he says, hey, did you make this video in Ecamm? And I said, yes, sir, Sammy. <laughs> 100% all on Ecamm, no edits no pauses, all right? And so that's how I've been creating these videos. And uh, one of the reasons why I do that is because um, we all know that editing can be a real bottleneck for creating content on YouTube. And so I was taking a pause probably for about a week and a half, two weeks, thinking about what to do with this channel, what to do moving forward with my channel. Um, I don't work with an editor. So everything that you see on my channel has been edited by me, filmed by me. And so how do I become a little bit more efficient with uh, creating content uh, that has value, but also do it so that it looks good enough, you know, uh, it looks good. The quality is, uh, you know, uh, acceptable, above average, hopefully, at least average. And, uh, but still, you know, not having to do the editing. How do I avoid editing as much as possible? So I did think about a couple ways to do it. One way, just to be, sh just to share with you, was to uh, do live streams. And so if I was gonna do a tutorial, I would live stream it and just do one take, done. Um, the thing that I was really thinking about was, okay, how do I do this so that you know, I don't have to do a live stream. I don't have to set up all the things and, you know, maybe live streaming, you know, the, the internet connection or something. There's, there's added layers to it, added steps. There's more, um, you know, X factors, I guess, if uh, for lack of a better term, that could happen when I'm live streaming. So how do I just record it one time, still be able to have the ability to share my screen, have introductions and all those things. And so, uh, really looked at Ecamm. And so if you're not familiar with Ecamm, Ecamm is a Mac only software. You download it and you can go live on, you know, multiple uh, platforms using, if you use Ecamm with Restream, which also I love that tool as well. Um, and, or you can record videos and content directly on your Mac uh, through uh, Ecamm. And so let me share my screen here and it'll be a little bit more clear. Let me do live demo mode. And so now you can see my entire screen. This is my desktop right here. So I'm on the top left, you'll see me, hello. Um, and then onto the right of that right here, in this little window that I'm uh, uh, moving around is what's called scenes. And so I've got a scene here that is just my camera only. And then when I say, all right, let's do the intro, just like I did about two or three minutes ago, then I run this and I'm, I'll be right back in a second. I'm gonna run the intro. I can, I can click play or I can uh, uh, press number one on my keyboard because you see I've set a hot key here. So if you've got multiple uh, scenes, you can set hot keys. So here I'm gonna press one and it's gonna play the intro. And then the next scene is camera only again. So that that way, as soon as the intro plays, it comes back to me and I'm talking to you again. All right, um, now I can put in different layers. I can put in what's called overlays. So there's another window here, the one I'm moving around. It's called overlays. And so I can add little images, videos. I can add uh, countdown timers if I want to. I can do a bunch of things. I can also then click on share screen. So if I click on this, which is another scene that I've set up, which is my camera 
and sharing my screen. So now it is sharing my screen. So everything that you see on this window, this on the top left, that's what you see and it's, that's what's being recorded right now. So I can actually move around my, um, what, my camera right there. So I'm gonna move that around. I'll put that in the top right. Um, I like doing that because I kind of want to see like it looks like I'm looking down into the rest of the desktop here And so that looks really good um, And that's really it. That's how I record these videos Super easily super quick no editing. So what happens now after I Film after I set click stop and recording all I need to do is go into I take the video I pull it into Camtasia and then from there, I kind of scroll through and I find a nice, you know, screen grab that I will then use for the thumbnail. And so I take that screen grab, I take it into my graphic design tool, which I've got already some, some type of like template, put the text over it, put, you know, a little bit of design into it. And then that becomes my thumbnail for my actual YouTube video. And so I can create three, four videos within an hour versus you know, the old, the, the, I wouldn't say the old way, but like the, the previous way where I would, you know, record onto the camera and then, you know, export it into my laptop, edit it, uh, all that stuff. And that would take maybe, you know, three, four hours for one video. So now I can take a video super quickly and uh, away we go. So let me take out the live demo mode and I'm back with you here. So let me know if you have any questions uh, with that workflow. Again, there's a link down below. It's an affiliate link and uh, it's uh, to get started with Ecamm. Don't have to use that link at all. You can just go directly to ecamm.com. You can install Ecamm if you wanna play out how I do it my way here. There's another creator by the name of Mary Lou Mandel, uh, who also does something very similar, all on Ecamm, one-shot interviews for her uh, YouTube channel, where she, that's how she records her interviews. So rather than using Zoom, she uses Ecamm, um, and it just looks way nicer. She, it's just like a really nice, nice um, output uh, for the, the interviews, uh, rather than using Zoom. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, I am gonna be creating some more videos around this whole workflow. Uh, before this, how do I, you know, as an example, <laughs> stay tuned for these videos, but I'm gonna be creating some more videos around like how I actually plan my uh, topics. Um, I use some uh, different tools, Trello being one of them. Uh, what do I do after, you know, how do I create my thumbnails, all those things. But let me know what questions you have about this particular part of the process. Um, and I'll make sure that I will put it in my ideas board to answer you in future videos. All right, so hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And again, if you're new or if you've been here for a while, make sure you're subscribed, all right? Make sure you're subscribed. I am getting fairly close to 5,000 subscribers, so hashtag road to 5,000. Uh, join me in that. I would love to, uh, love to get to 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I think that'd be really fun, all right? So I'll see you all in the next video. Here's the outro.